Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Viewer question in on the email. This is from Jim. He says, hi Matt. I'm a regular viewer of yours on YouTube and I would love to raise a question. Planning to buy a Canon 90D and later on upgrading it possibly to the 7D Mark III. I was having a look at the best lenses for crop sensors. I've seen your video about the best three lenses and most likely I will get the 55 to 250 by Canon and the Sigma 17 to 50 f2.8 OS HSM. Yet, very interesting thing happened. I found a lens, a uh, Canon lens, the 15 to 85 f3.5 to 5.6 IS USM. I've seen countless amounts of reviews saying that this lens is incredibly well built, IS works tremendously well, and image quality is astonishingly sharp. Plus, on the wider end, you get an extra 2 mils, which especially on the wide side makes a big difference. Despite all the ratings and reviews, nobody has ever included this lens on their list of the best lenses for crop sensors. Therefore, the question I have for you and for the discussion down below your video is, why do you think this lens seems to be actually uh, to be actually worse option than any other lens or two and is it really worth it? Thank you for helping me out uh, as this is particular problem is giving me a headache for more than a week. Uh, kind regards from Jim who lives in Italy, is employed in Ireland but is in fact from the Czech Republic. Well thanks for your um, question and your email Jim. Uh, good questions and we'll get into that. Um, I just want to comment that's pretty cool. You're from Italy, employed in Ireland but from the uh, the Czech Republic. So live in Italy, employed in Ireland from the Czech Republic. You've been uh, three places I would like to go that I've never been. So that's cool. Um, so the 90D, you're already looking at the 90D, even though it's still, you know, kind of vaporware rumor, as we know. Uh, I'm really hoping it's a 4K 80D with a few other enhancements, in which case, by all means, get it. Possible upgrade to the 7D Mark III. A lot of people go that route if they want to stay in the in the uh, APS-C Canon bodies. That's definitely your top-of-the-line APS-C Canon uh, when it comes out. Mark II would be the, the current top-of-the-line there. And then as far as lenses, um, when you say my list of the best three lenses, I just want to clarify. When I, the, the list I think you're talking about is when I have my top four uh, or maybe I've said three, but the best value lenses. And I just want to, to clarify that because there is a difference between best value and the ultimate best lens. When I have that list where I, I cite the 10 to 18, the 18 to 135, the uh, 50 F1.8 STM, and the 55 to 250 IS STM, those are the best value lenses. I'm not saying they're the best lens out there. I'm saying they're the best value for the money. In other words, for the money, you can't beat them for what they offer. There are better lenses, they just cost a lot more money. And that is where we're going to be going with the answer for you about this Canon 15 to 85. When I pop over to Amazon right now, that Canon 15 to 85 is 799 US. Uh, and that's a lot of money. I think it looks like you can pick it up here for cheaper used, but for brand new for that lens, 799. Um, I think the problem what you're seeing here, why you're not seeing a lot of people recommend it, is certainly why it doesn't hit my best value lenses is for 799, you can buy almost all of those other lenses I mentioned, darn close to it. Whereas this what 799 is very expensive for a variable aperture zoom. This isn't even a 3.5 to 4.5. This is an f3.5 to 5.6 variable aperture zoom. So it's not fast at all. It gives you a decent range. That's the only thing it's really got going for it, the fact that it's a 15 to 85. I like that part. I do not like the variable aperture part for the price. If this had been a 15 to 85 f4 IS, then it'd be totally worth $800. It's not worth $800 in my opinion. It's not good value in my opinion when it's a variable aperture zoom. And that's, I think, why. I think that's the answer to your question, why you're not seeing anybody else recommending it really. It's a decent performing lens, no doubt about it, but it's a slow lens for $800. So I would much rather have the Sigma 17-50 uh, to 50 f2.8. Faster lens, Less, less range. If I really want more range, I'm going to go with the 18 to 135. Gives you even more range on the telephoto end. When I pair that with the 10 to 18, I've covered, I'm covered from 10 to 135, and it's still costing me less than that single lens. So there's the crux of the matter there. So you'd have to decide is a little sharper performance, and it's probably negligible. You're starting to really split hairs, but I will give that lens, the 15 to 85, the edge on sharper performance. However, for the price, like I said, you could pretty much have all of the other lenses. You could have even the Sigma and 
probably the other three to go with it. So that's what we're talking about value. So you have to decide for a slower lens, are you willing to pay that much more money for a tad bit sharper? I'm not because those other lenses are good performers and much better price. And that's why you're not seeing other people uh, including that in their recommended lenses. It's too much money for what it is for the price. So uh, I will throw it back to you folks, though, as I always do, to our viewers. Do you agree with me? Do you think that I'm correct? And that's why you're not seeing that recommended a lot. Do you agree with my assessment that for the price, it's too much money? Especially, I mean, the, the crux here is, is if it was an F4 constant aperture, it'd be a great value. But for a variable aperture all the way to 5.6, I think that's far too much money for a 15 to 85 crop sensor lens. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments below. Let's discuss it. Um, what do you think about these lens options? Um, I like Jim's option of going with the Sigma 17 to 50 F2.8OS. It's a faster lens. It pairs nicely with the 55 to 250. Um, the other option, if you wanted to, would be go with the 18 to 135 Canon, the IS-STM. Uh, great lens too. Not as fast, but a longer range. What would you guys do? Let us know on that one as well. Let us know in the comments below. Let's discuss it. Always great to hear from you guys, helping our viewers when they write in with questions just to get a more rounded opinion. Not just mine, but you know, you guys chiming in, sometimes pointing out things I might have missed. Thanks for your question, Jim. I'll be looking forward to hearing what everybody has to say in addition to my answer for you. And uh, stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.